Do you guys, if you haven't already, uh, do you plan to have a conversation about the contract before the season begins? Oh, we actually did. We we did. You know, it's a conversation. That's all. We're just keeping it private. Yeah. Did you and Eric just doing the one-on-one -on -one talking? Uh, can you take us through any of that? Uh, we having a conversation. <laughs> so. Is it going to continue during the season? We have a conversation. <laughs> now, for your own personal preference, would you prefer to have a contract done before the end of the year? Uh, it's a conversation. You know, it's a conversation. To be, to be clear, would you still play week one if there's not a deal? We're in conversation right now. <laughs> but that's also the question about playing week one. Um, like, if you don't have a, an extension, like, the way you're thinking right now, I mean, will you um, – be a training camp? Will you be playing week one under your current deal with no with no contract? We're having a conversation about it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body, old school for low. Purple rim, seven seven cut. Fam, so have you all ever had a moment in life where? A person continually asking, or multiple people, continually asking you the same question in different ways, and you continually giving the same answer, such as Marshall and Lynch. I'm here so I won't get fined. Well, Lamar went through that today with that press conference, but he didn't do the, I'm here, I won't get fined. He, they continually ask about the contract situation. The pocket watching society continually asking about that and his response continually was, we are having a conversation. 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 And he continually said that. Then they asked him, you know, about voluntary camp right off the bat when he at, when he answered that that was a good answer he said he asked the wide receivers you know his tight end how would they feel about him missing it they, they was like hey go do what you got to do man he worked on his mechanics and everything but with him asking that shows how much respect he has for the players that he's passing his ball to. That right there was a huge, like, I was like, dang, that, that right there is like off the chat. I ain't never seen a quarterback do that. If they would've been like, man, we want you here, he, he would've came. But he said, you know, with the chemistry, February, he's feeling healthy from that, that bruise, that bone bruise. So, James Prochet, Bateman, we seen the, we seen the, you know, we seen the footage. He said chemistry is looking great. So he said he wasn't even worried about that because he knows that it's gonna get even better as the year go. And actually, just to go off topic a little bit, they also said that um, when Bateman and and Pro was up there, they even mentioned that 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 chemistry that they have with Lamar is, it's on point. And, it, and they know too as well, throughout the year it's gonna get even just much better when you're actually going against someone that's not in practice. But back to the Lamar. That was just uh, very interesting how he just said that. They kept asking him, you know, did he talk to EDC? Did they talk to him? One reporter even said, hey, did you talk to him, you know, yesterday, the day before, two, three days? What's the timeline? I'm like, dude, does it even matter? Like, come on. He already, he already answered. Then one reporter asked him, you know, pocket watching the society. Um, is it about the Deshaun Watson, you know, pretty much like cash? Is he looking at that? He said, I'm not looking at other players. I'm not looking at that. I'm looking out for me. 
pretty much. That let me know right there. This he knows he's gonna get paid. He's gonna be probably the second highest paid. Probably the second highest paid. He's gonna he's gonna get that money. And they just like just. And he knew it. Like he knew it. He even. You can tell when his voice got up there with. We're having a conversation. I don't know how to. He, that, that's when he was like, okay. Like, I, can, can we talk about something else? I don't want you. I, I'm on repeat right now. I'm copy and pasting. <laughs> it's, it's like, dude. And they, you know they're going to make a story of this. They're going to find something he said and just stick to that little sentence or that one little word and just try to make it a whole drama. When it's not, they even asked, is he going to, they said, are you, one reporter asked, do you feel that you will be, you know, here for the long run? He said, yes, I want to stay here. I want to do all of that right there. And I'm like, er, he just said he's going to, it's going to work out. He's going to be a Raven for life. Let's go on with that. Nope. They didn't want to go on with that. The next question was. The Deshaun Watson, as I spoke about that earlier. And I'm like, ah, he, he just said he's going to be a Raven for life. All right. Then on top of that, right after they asked that, they asked him, is he going to play without a country? Is he going to, you know, play this year? And that's when he, he really, like, rose his voice. Like, I don't know. I don't I don't care. Is we win conversation. I don't know. I don't get. It. They go. They gonna probably make a story. Lamar said he don't know if he's gonna play this year without a contract. He's gonna play. He's gonna play. It just got to the point where it's like you continually asking him for something. He's like, it's nothing there. You're gonna make a story out of nothing. I haven't even spoke. He haven't even spoken a word about his contract on media or anything, and people were still making up stories. So. Nothing new. Nothing new to Lamar. The man is smart. His mom is his agent. He's going to do what he want to do. So, respects out to Lamar. We're having a conversation. I loved it. I loved it. What did y'all think about it?